what's up guys Huffman have tech here so i've been using mac os pixel beta 6 on my macbook pro that you see here this is my daily driver it's also my main mac and it's the macbook that is going to apparently be used to edit this video that you are watching right now so i use this quite a lot and i've been using beta 6 on it for about two days now and i gotta say that i actually found out quite a lot and in terms of new features and also in terms of new bugs so if you're excited drop a like down below and hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the latest macOS content that we have for you all right so first things first let's actually talk about the wallpaper because at this time i've been getting like a lot of requests when it comes from most of you with regards to this wallpaper you know it's basically a wallpaper that has macOS versions in one picture and if you want to download it i'll leave a link to it in the description of this video where you can download the full quality picture now with regards to new features or changes that i saw with macOS pixel beta 6 after two days let's talk about safari because there's actually a lot that has happened with safari now if you go into your safari settings and basically change your background we now have six new safari backgrounds and three of them feature colorful backgrounds and emojis while the others are like some sort of geometric art with animals and as you can see here some of the first ones that you actually see are like those of animals like a butterfly we have a bear and we also have like a parrot so if you actually don't see this option to change your safari background you need to do this right you see in the top left hand corner there just click on safari and then go to your preferences and then as you can see make sure that you are in the general tab by the way and once you are in the general tab you can actually be able to change you know how your new windows open with or your new tabs that you open open with right so if you click that option for new windows open with and select start page and also go to new tabs and select start page that means that all the new windows or whenever you open safari basically it will open with a start page and also if you open a new tab it will open up with the start page and it will also have the background image that you would have set now with safari on beta 6 for me on my macbook pro here they actually moved 4k video but apparently if you have 4k video on safari and you know you have google chrome that has 4k video on beta 6 try to compare the two and there's quite a hassle going on on twitter and on reddit when it comes to which one has like better quality and also which one portrays better images so try compare it and let me know which one you basically think has better quality now another thing that i noticed with this beta 6 has to do with final cut pro so sometimes i edit my videos in imovie for faster rendering and then i you know do the final touches in final cut pro I did that and I published my video to YouTube and my video once it was successfully uploaded I played it on YouTube and it was actually blank the effects that I put on top of the video right those effects were actually showing up normal but the video was just blank and if you want to see that video i'll leave it in the description of this video it's also the same video that has to do with ios 14 beta 7 so you will notice that the length is the same as the one that i re-uploaded the second time and you know the second time it works so if you are a video producer and you upload a lot using final cut pro you might want to hold on a little bit if you use the native apple music app on mac os you no longer need to double tap you know the play button in order for you to play music so that was an issue on beta 5 and it has been fixed another change that is apparently there with this update now keep in mind that this is actually affecting different users so you might or might not see this and i was also notified of this by a friend sasco and it has to do with the hard drive some users are reporting a golden external hard drive whenever they connect an external drive or an external stick and you know for me as you can see here it looks like the normal one right this is what i had on beta 5 and it's the same as i had on beta 6 however i noticed that the moment i open my drive on beta 6 it has sort of created a shortcut inside the drive and it's like some sort of dark dark silver shortcut and when i click this shortcut it basically does nothing and takes me nowhere so that is another change that you would want to look 
out for if you use an external hard drive also something else that changed with this update has to do with the battery icon on the control center or control panel so before on beta 5 quite a number of users were reporting that you know there is no battery icon anymore on the control center so on beta 6 it is now showing and if you want to enable this you can go into your system preferences and then select to dock and then if you go to the battery section you have an option to basically turn this on and off and for me since it basically performs the same task as the one that you have there besides the Wi-Fi icon you know there's no point in having it but if it's something that you know you want to have on your control center and I, I think it actually makes the control center look a bit cool and on beta 6 if you enable it it will basically show up and work as it's supposed to unlike beta 5 so with beta 6 now if you take a raw image file that you shot using like a mirrorless camera or a dslr and you convert that uh, raw image file to a jpeg using preview that is you know at the native preview mark app that is in there you now have you know an image that is working that has been converted into jpeg now before on beta 5 i was having an issue whereby i would convert my raw image files to jpeg and upon opening those images you know they wouldn't open up so they would open up as blank and now on beta 6 that has apparently been fixed now this one is actually a serious one it's actually a bug that i'm seeing right here my mark is stuck on the activity tab trying to cancel system diagnostics and funny fact is that it's been doing this for like over an hour and a half and this is actually a bug that i noticed on beta 6 so if you notice that your gpu performance is slower than usual upon updating on beta 6 and you run you know system diagnostics using the activity monitor on the mac the process itself is so like time consuming it takes forever to complete and that's what happened to me and i canceled the process and upon canceling the process the mark is just stuck there and if i try to quit the activity monitor you know it does nothing and i tried this quite a number of times and i noticed that sometimes force quit does work and sometimes force quit doesn't work when this happens and sometimes the only solution that you have is to basically restart your mark and you'll be able to you know cancel the system diagnostic screen that your mark will be stuck in now the next change is also something that you have to watch out for i actually was notified of this again by sasco so it has to do with microsoft word if you use word on mac os pixel beta 6 and you basically switch between full screen mode and minimize mode like twice you notice that you know your device will get stuck in the full screen mode and you can no longer minimize you know the microsoft tab and you can also no longer quit this tab so this is a bug that i noticed that is there on mac os pixel beta 6 and hopefully with time they can easily fix this now when it comes to performance you know on ios i use geekbench 5 to measure like you know system performance cpu and gpu but for mac i'm still trying to find which is the best software that i can use you know to measure like performance between the previous beta and the current beta so if you know of any good software that i can use let me know in the comment section below and i will be able to check that software out and hopefully you know i can sort of make better videos from now on so the question is now should you update to mac os pixel beta 6 uh, you know what I feel like it's okay I mean for developers and for programmers it's quite a good update a lot has changed however if you are a video producer or you use your MacBook or whatever device you're using to edit video using Final Cut Pro then I wouldn't be quick to advise you know uh, to update on beta 6 because sometimes your media will corrupt and you have to edit your video again just watch out and if you are a video producer this is an update that i think you should definitely skip now if you don't see this update by now whether you are a public beta tester or a developer beta tester then this is a non-issue it's been reported and some users are actually finding their way around by restarting their marks into say mode like 
twice. I guess go just switch back and forth between safe mode. And I know of someone who did this and they managed to find the update. So this is something that you can try and hopefully you should see the update, but it's also a non issue. And hopefully with the next beta, they should fix this and do your part also and report the issue so that it can be addressed quicker. Now the YouTube community pool is actually up. So do vote and have a say. And perhaps if you leave a comment, I might use it in the following video. So basically that's about it for me guys. This this is a two day follow up video for Mac OS Pixel Beta 6 that I've been using on my main MacBook Pro. This is the 2016 15 inch MBP. And that's about it for me, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Peace.